Can you say something, B1? No, B2. I thought you said something. Well, if it wasn't you... And it wasn't you... Then who was it? It's a crow. Hello, Mr Crow. I think he's trying to tell us something. I think he's telling us it's morning already. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's breakfast time! That fruit salad was delicious, B1. Very delicious, B2. But did you notice something was missing? Uh, no. Something small and round and orange? Something like... Apricots? Exactly! We should go to Rat's shop to see if he's got some. We can do better than that, B2. We can? Bernard has lots of apricots on his trees, remember? Yes, and we promised to help pick them today. So let's get going. We'll need our sun hats, B1. And we'll need bags, B2, to put the apricots in. Apricot trees are very high, B1, so we'll also need... A ladder! The ladder's in the cupboard. Ah! Found it. <laughs> this broom will come in handy too, B1. We can use it to knock the apricots down from the tree. Good idea, B2. Now let's go to Bernard's. And hurry! <laughs> Are you alright, B1? Uh, no harm done, B2, but I think we'll get to Bernard's house faster if we hurry. Carefully. It's uh, very kind of you to pick my apricots for me, Bananas. No trouble at all, Bernard. With my shaky old legs, I'm not very good up a ladder, I'm afraid. And uh, I'm busy today making friends with my new goldfish. Your new goldfish? Hmm. Come and meet him. I was feeling a bit lonely living in this big house all by myself, so I got Smiley to keep me company. <laughs> Hello, Smiley. Uh, these are my friends, B1 and B2. Hello, Hello Smiley! Smiley's not smiling much today, Bernard. Oh, I expect he's just shy. He'll cheer up when he gets to know me better. You just stay here and make friends with him, Bernard. We'll take care of picking your apricots. Oh, yes, there's a little problem with these apricots. I picked some off the lower branches yesterday. Mmm, they look delicious, Bernard. Very delicious. Uh, too delicious, I'm afraid. These apricots are so absolutely delicious that someone's been eating them already. Eating your apricots? They've got holes in them, see? Look! Ruined the whole lot of them. But who would eat your apricots, Bernard? That's just it, Bananas. I don't know. Then what we should do, B2, is pick the apricots straight away. Before that sneaky apricot eater takes any more. Let's hurry. Are you all right, Bananas? <laughs> no harm done, Bernard. Only next time, we'll hurry carefully. <laughs> oh, Bananas, you make me wag. The apricots on the tree are quite high, B2. Lucky we brought that broom then, B1. Ready, B2? Ready, B1. Got them. And I got them too, B1. Oh, sorry, B2. No harm done, B1. Try again. Oh, nice catch, B2. Mmm, they're perfect, B1. No holes in them at all. It's our friend, Mr. Crow. Hello, Mr. Crow. Look, B1. He's eating the apricots. So that's how the holes got in them. We'll have to give that crow a good talking to, B2. 
A very good talking to, B1. Ah! Excuse me, Mr Crow. Those are Bernard's apricots. You can't just take them without asking. Off you go now. He's not listening to us, B1. Then we'd better make him listen, B2. Shoo! Scram! <coughs> oh, no! Now he's eating the apricots in that tree. Shoo! Scram! <coughs> he's doing it again, B2. That naughty crow! Shoo! Scram! Get away! Shoo! Scram! You can't stay! Take a ride on a bus, go and catch a tram Do whatever you want, just shoo and swim There's a naughty old crow up there in the tree Pecking on the fruit, that's for you and me He pretends not to hear a single word That shrieky, cheeky, sneaky black bird Shrieky, cheeky, sneaky black bird Shoo, scram! Get away, shoo, scram, you can't stay Take a ride on a bus, go and catch a train Do whatever you want, just shoo and scram All this shooing and scramming's making me tired, B1 It's making me very tired, B2 What can we do? We need an idea are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's Scarecrow making time! This wheat will be perfect, B1. It's just what we need to fill out our Scarecrow heads, B2. And these round leaves will make very good eyes. And these curvy leaves will make very good mouths. Finished! Our scarecrow faces look more friendly than scary, B1. They won't frighten the crow away. I know what we can do. <gasps> now that's scary, B1. What do you think? That's scary too, B2. I'm calling my scarecrow Mr Scary, B1. I'm calling my scarecrow Mr Scary too, B2. All right, yours can be Mr Scary too. And mine will be Mr. Scary One. The Mr. Scaries look very skinny, B2. What they need is some clothes, B1. Let's go and find some. Hurry. Uh, carefully. <laughs> now the Mr. Scaries look just like us, B1. Only scary. <laughs> That crow won't come near Bernard's apricot trees when these are in place. He wouldn't dare. <coughs> Mr Scary One's ready. And so is Mr Scary too. Oh, bananas. Those scarecrows look marvellous. Uh, do you really think they'll keep the crows away from my apricots? Excellent work, Bananas. <laughs> I think you've earned a cup of tea. Thanks, Bernard. And then we'll come out and pick the rest of the apricots. Have you made friends with Smiley yet, Bernard? I'm afraid not, B2. I think he wants other goldfish to play with. I'll have to get him some. But he uh, won't be much company for me at all. <coughs> Oh, Bananas, look what's happened. Oh, dear. The crow's eating the wheat, B1. He likes our Mr Scaries even more than he likes apricots. <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> Scram! <laughs> oh, now all his friends have come. And they like eating our scarecrows too. Shoo! Scram! Shoo! Oh, oh, wait, Bananas, stop! It's all gone wrong, Bernard. We didn't mean to bring all these birds into your garden. 
We're sorry. Uh, but bananas, I... I like having all these birds in my garden. You do? Now I've got lots of new friends to keep me company. So you have. Oh, thank you, bananas. Uh, no trouble at all, Bernard. Apricot's coming down, B2. Got them, B1. Uh-oh, B1. The birds have finished eating the Mr Scaries. Should we build new Mr Scaries, B1? Those hungry birds might start eating all the apricots again. No, it's all right, B2. We've picked all the apricots now. Right. So we have. And anyway, Bernard is making sure his new friends have plenty to eat. Bernard's going to have lots of company now, B1. Lots and lots of company, B2. Chinese New Year. But not the dragons. What's wrong with the dragons? They're scary, that's what. But they're not real, Amy. Emperor Rat is real, though. How do you think I look? Great costume, Rat. And don't forget us. Oh, a dragon! Don't worry, Amy, it's not a real dragon. It's a banana dragon. See? It's us. Come on out, B2. Hello, Amy. I say, Bananas, what a fine dragon costume. It'll be just the thing to lead the parade. What are you all doing for Chinese New Year? We're planning a little surprise. Right, Bernard? Right, Camembert. We must be off. We've got an early start tomorrow. And I've got an early start too. I've got to hang up all our lanterns by the lake, where there aren't any dragons. Amy, are you sure you'll be okay in all this fog? I'll be fine, Lulu. Don't worry. Now, to hang up my lanterns. I want some up high and some down low. These will keep nasty dragons away from our parade tonight. Now, where will I hang this next lantern? <gasps> Dragon! <laughs> Here are all the bowls and chopsticks for our Chinese New Year's feast. A Chinese feast, B1? I can't wait, B2. And here are all the fortune cookies. Help! I've just seen a, a dragon down at the lake. <laughs> a dragon? Oh, Amy, you're such a trickster. It's not a trick. It's real. What's real? Oh, there are dragons everywhere. Don't worry. It's only me. Well, there's a real dragon down at the lake. I saw it with my own eyes. Then I've got to see it too. Come on, everyone. I can't see a dragon. It was out there, right in the middle of the lake. Well, it's not here now. Sorry, Amy, but everyone knows there are no such things as dragons. And everyone knows we've got lots to do to prepare for the parade tonight. Right, and not much time to do it. Don't worry, Amy. 
we've seen dragons too. Isn't that right, B1? Uh, yes. Have we? <gasps> where? Yes, where, where, B2? In our dragon book, of course. I saw a real dragon. But no one believes me. Poor Amy. We have to find a way to help her, B2. If we could catch that dragon... Then everyone will know that she really did see it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's dragon catching time! The first thing we need is a net. One dragon catching net? Check. Great. Now what else? Hmm. I know. Something to spot the dragon with. Dragon spotters. Check. Do we need anything else, B2? I know. Something to put the dragon in. Perfect. Let's go and catch a dragon. Uh, morning, bananas. Good morning, Pedro. What are you doing with all that stuff? We're off to catch a dragon. A dragon? What are you using for bait? Bait? You'll need bait if you want to get close enough to catch him with your net. We didn't think of bait, B2. I wonder what dragons like to eat. Maybe they like apples. Apples? Well, I like apples, so maybe dragons do too. Here's the plan. We put the apples here and hide behind that bush. Right. Then, when the dragon picks up the apples, we'll feel a tug on the string. And I'll jump out and catch him. Ouch! Sorry, B1. I didn't catch a dragon. I caught you. <laughs> I think we're all set, B2. Let's hide. We have to stay quiet. Very, very quiet. Or else the dragon will hear us. Look, B1, something's pulling on the string. <laughs> Listen, B2, something's eating the apples. It has to be the dragon. Ready to catch it, B2? Ready, B1. One, two. What's next, B2? Go! Ouch. Pedro? What are you doing eating our dragon bait? Oh. Sorry, Bananas. I didn't know it was your bait. I just saw all these apples and they look so delicious. Oh, dear. Now what do we do? How can we catch the dragon now? What about Charlie? Maybe he can help. Helping Amy is a nice idea, Bananas. But are you really sure you want to catch a dragon? What's wrong with catching a dragon, Charlie? For a start, dragons have great big claws and very sharp teeth. Charlie's right. Maybe it's not a good idea to get too close to a dragon. But if we don't catch it, how can we prove that Amy saw it? By taking a picture instead. A picture? Of course. What a great idea, Charlie. Taking a picture is much safer than trying to catch a dragon. Thanks, Charlie. The camera's ready, B1. Now all we need is for that dragon to show himself. Hello, bananas. <laughs> Oh, we thought you were the dragon. The dragon? We're going to take its picture so everyone believes Amy. There is no dragon. It was just Amy's imagination. You might think that, Morgan. But we're going to wait here and find out. Ah, these poor bananas are going to be waiting here a long time. If only I could help them. What can I do? I know. I'll pretend to be the dragon and the bananas can take my picture. Then they can go home and we can all celebrate Chinese New Year. Hmm? What is it? Do you hear what I hear, B1? I think I do, B2. <laughs> 
Quickly to the camera. Where is it? Around your neck. So it is. Hurry, take its picture. Huh? <laughs> uh, sorry, Mr. Dragon. We only wanted to for photo. <laughs> you know what we should do, B1? What B2? Run! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bananas! It's just me, Morgan! Bananas! Come back! Oh, dear. I didn't mean to scare them. They should know the dragons aren't real. <gasps> Dragon! <laughs> Master V1! I'm running as fast as I can! B1? I'm not a dragon, I'm Morgan! Morgan? Morgan? Bananas? What's going on? And why are you wearing that dragon costume? No time to explain. You were right, Amy. About what? There really is a dragon and it's down there at the lake. What? It's true, I saw it, and it's huge! Are you trying to tease me again, Morgan? No, promise. Come and see if you don't believe me. It was out there, right in the middle. <gasps> That's exactly where I saw it! But this is silly. Dragons are not real! Dragon! Dragon I saw. Me too. Nice to see you all. It talks. That's amazing. That dragon sounds just like Bernard. That's because it is Bernard. Look, it wasn't a real dragon after all. It was a dragon boat. We've been practicing rowing it for the Chinese New Year Festival. This? Here's our surprise. It sure surprised us, all right. It didn't surprise me. I knew it was a boat all along. Mostly. So you were right, Amy. There really was a dragon in the lake. But it's a lot friendlier than I first thought. This dragon wants all of you to come for a ride tonight. For the Cattlestown Chinese New Year Festival. Look, B1. Look at all of Amy's lanterns. Beautiful. Great job, Amy. Thanks, Bananas. This is much more fun than a real dragon any day. And we can take great photographs, too. Smile, Amy. Oh, oh. oh Bananas. <laughs> Try it one more time, B1. One more time it is, B2. <gasps> oh no, big bad wolf. We won't let you in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Banana Tastic! We're going to have so much fun being piggies in the three little piggies. Let's join the others for rehearsals. I love putting on plays, B2. Especially with our friends, B1. Let's make sure we've got the story right. The three little piggies each build a house. One house of straw, one house of sticks and one house of bricks. Then the big bad wolf comes along. Ah! <laughs> got you there, Bananas. Now tell me, was I scary? Very, very scary. That's what I want. 
The big bad wolf must be scary. I'm going to ask Lulu if I can be the wolf in the play. You'll be a pajama-rific wolf, Rat. My thoughts exactly. Only a great actor like me can play a role like the big bad wolf. I'll meet you at rehearsal. <laughs> Rat's a very good actor, B2. <laughs> got a terrific huff and puff, Topsy. I want to ask Lulu if I can be the big bad wolf. So I've got a huff and puff. You'll be a banana-tastic wolf, Topsy. <laughs> I think so too. See you at the rehearsal. <laughs> Topsy will be a great big bad wolf. Just like Rat. Oopsie. Rat and Topsy both want to be the wolf. That's too many wolves. Poor Lulu, she'll have to choose. But Lulu, I'll be the better wolf. No one can act like me. Um, I'm the best wolf here, Lulu. No one can scare like me. Oh, I think you could both be good wolves, so I don't know how to choose. Here are the bananas. They'll tell you I should be the wolf. Uh, don't listen to him. Bananas, there's only one wolf here and we know who that will be, right? Uh, you're both good. Both! You can both be wolves. Good thinking, Bananas. We can have two wolves. Well, if two wolves is the only way to do it, then I suppose I'll have to agree. And what do you say, Topsy? If there's no other way, then two wolves it is. Banana-tastic! <laughs> Let's begin the rehearsal, everyone. Once upon a time, there were three little piggies. Each piggy had to build a home to live in. This little piggy made a house of straw. This little piggy made a house of sticks. And this little piggy made a house of bricks. All the little piggies were snug and warm in their new homes. But little did they know that the big bad wolf, uh, uh, wolves, were coming. They were prowling and howling. Oh. Topsy, that isn't how you prowl. This is how you prowl. Grrr. Then you howl. Oh. That's no how. This is a how. Oh, I can howl better in my sleep. Keep it going, everyone. We've only got one rehearsal. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let us come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. That's great piggy acting, B1. It is, B1. And I should know, I am a piggy. Please stick to the story, piggies. Sorry. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and blow your house in. <gasps> the little piggy's house of straw blew away. <laughs> the wolves laughed at what they had done. <laughs> oh, you don't know how a big bad wolf really laughs, Rat. It's like this. <laughs> That's no wolf laugh. This is a wolf laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Oh, let's all take a break. Oh dear, why did I say there could be two wolves? It'll never work. Really, Topsy? You're going to have to do much better. <gasps> it's you who has to improve, Rat. <laughs> Oh, everyone's going to be here soon to see the play. I do hope there are no more problems. Lulu, I have a problem. Me too. What problem? The story doesn't make sense anymore. Two wolves together would blow down any house, even if it was made of bricks. But they can't blow down the piggy house of bricks. Otherwise, the story will be ruined. 
That's why we have to change the story. Change the story? I agree with Rat. We need a new story right now. But this is the greatest piggy story there is. You can't change it. Yes, we can. We should change it so that the wolves are the heroes. <gasps> That's it. I'm going. Pedro, you can't go. Sorry, Lulu. If they want to change the story, I don't want to be in it. Don't go, Pedro. Let Pedro go if he wants to. We don't need him. We'll just call the play The Two Little Piggies. Yes, and now we wolves are the stars. Hey, we should change the title too. An excellent idea, Topsy. We'll call the play The Two Big Bad Wolves. Right on, Rat! But we don't want to be in The Two Big Bad Wolves. We want to be in The Three Little Piggies. Sorry, Bananas. We've already changed it. <laughs> bananas, where are you going? <laughs> Pedro! Ah, this is much better without all those piggies around. All we have to do is make up a new story. Let's start with us howling and prowling. Right! Oh. 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 Uh, what do we do then? Um, what do you think we should do? We should... Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is no good at all. We have to think of something. Oh, no! Everyone's coming to see the play! Well, there's no time to think up a new story. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, we have to get those piggies back! Then let's find them! <laughs> Can you see Pedro? I can't see anyone! Whoa! We found Pedro! What are you doing here, bananas? We're looking for you! You've got to come back, Pedro. The play can't work without you. I don't want to be in the play with those two wolves changing everything. But all our friends are coming to see it. We can't let them down. Oh, I know. Please come back, Pedro. Our friends will be so upset if we don't put on a play for them. They've all been looking forward to it so much. I don't like it, but all right but only because of our friends. Bananatastic! <laughs> He's not here. I can't find him either. Where can he be? Teddy's! We need you. We can't do the play without you. Or Pedro. Or the bananas. We won't make any more trouble. That's great, but we can't do the play now. It's too late. Too late? How can it be too late? We can't find the bananas or Pedro. What? what? We'd better go and apologise to everyone. I hope they won't be too disappointed. This is all your fault, Topsy. It's your fault, Rat. <laughs> <laughs> and the wolf huffed and puffed, but he couldn't blow down the house of bricks. <gasps> are doing the play without us? That's impossible. No, it isn't. So the wolf dropped down the chimney, but he landed right in the fire and burned his bushy tail. <laughs> he ran away as fast as he could, and the piggies never saw him again. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Cheese and whiskers! They did do it without us! And brilliantly! You three really deserve your honey cakes after that great show! Thank you! But why didn't you wait for us? We couldn't wait. Everyone was ready to see the play. So we had to do it all. And with the proper story too. But we wanted to be the wolves. We would have been excellent wolves. Maybe you can be wolves some other time. 
Next time, we'll do a play about Little Red Riding Hood. That story has a wolf. You're right, Bananas. It does. Except our story will have two wolves. And you can both be wolves like this. <laughs> <laughs> Really? It's coming, Bananas. It's coming! What's coming, Rat? Help is coming! <laughs> Hear that? Help has arrived! Here it is. Doesn't it look good? How will the box help you? <laughs> it's not the box, Bananas. It's what's inside the box. Behold! The perfect helper is here! <gasps> A, a robot. robot! Not just a robot, but a ratamat robot. Oh, jeez and whiskers. Just look at these instructions. Not that I need them. Shouldn't you read the instructions, Rat? To make sure it works properly? I don't have time for silly things like instructions. <laughs> Greetings. I am Ratamat. How may I help you? It moves. It speaks. What is your command? Speak, and Ratamat will obey. Obey my every command! Oh, the joy! Ratamat, my shop has dust everywhere. I command you to clean! <laughs> Ratamat must clean. Ratamat will do so. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't this brilliant, Bananas? <laughs> Not just a robot, a ratamat. This we've got to see. Good morning, Teddies. I take it that the bananas have told you about my amazing new ratamat. They have. Can we see it? Follow me. Wow. Your shop has never been cleaner, Rat. All thanks to Ratamat. It does everything so I can. Nothing. <laughs> and doing nothing is what you're so very good at, Rat. Correct! Greetings. I am Ratamat. How may I assist you? <gasps> it really it does, does work. work. These are my friends, Ratamat. Friends? What are friends? Don't you know what friends are, Ratamat? We're your friends, Ratamat. <laughs> alert! Alert! Sorry? Mud alert! Ratamat will not allow mud in shock. Ratamat must wash. Wash. Ah, my shoes. We were all in the garden. We all have mud. Wash, wash. Ah! Sorry, Teddies, but Ratamat likes to keep a clean shop. Greetings. How may I help you? Uh, we'd like some jelly, please. Green jelly. Jelly, jelly. Here is your red jelly. But we want a green, Ratamat. You do not want green. We don't? We thought we did. Ratamat says that red jelly is best. Take red jelly. Uh, thanks, Ratamat. We'll be going now. Keep up the good work, Ratamat. I'll be at the beach if you need me. Ratamat does not need rat. Ratamat can do everything. Ratamat will do everything. Rat! What 
can I do for you, Bananas? Or better yet, what can I get the Ratamat to do for you? <laughs> we have to talk to you about the Ratamat. And tell me how wonderful he is. No, Rat. We want to tell you how bossy he is. Bossy? And unhelpful. The teddies think he's bossy too. No one wants to go into your shop anymore. What? <laughs> of course you do. Not if Ratamat's there. Goodness me, what a lot of fuss pots you are. Uh, very well. I'll talk to Ratamat. Thank, Thank you, you, Rat. Ten centimeters from edge of counter. Position is perfect. <laughs> Greetings. How may I assist you? It's come to my attention, Ratamat. Though I don't believe it, that you might be a little bossy. Bossy? What is bossy? You make us do things we don't want to do. Are you going to buy something? Uh... No. We just want to talk to you. Only customers may stay inside. Please, immediately. Uh, do you think we should go, B2? We should be one. Now, Ratamat, you can't chase my friends out of my shop. This is Ratamat's shop. Your shop? It's my shop. Leave immediately. Leave my own shop. Sand alert. Sand alert. Sand? Oh no, I was at the beach. <laughs> oh, cheese and whiskers. You're right, Bananas. That Ratamat is way too bossy. What can you do, Rat? I wish I knew. What we need is an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. Ratamat needs to have fun. It needs to have friends. It's Ratamat Playtime! Greetings. How may I assist you? Ratamat, would you like to have some fun? We'd like to invite you to a picnic. A meal eaten outside. How is that fun? Picnics are always fun. Very well. Ratamat will attend picnic to learn about fun. Bananarama! We'll see you soon, Ratamat. What do you think, B2? It's perfect, B1. Do you think Ratamat will like it? Everyone loves a picnic. Greetings. Hello, Ratamat. Are you ready for some games? Ratamat only has two minutes for fun. We must commence picnic immediately. Uh, but it's not lunchtime yet, Ratamat. We should play first and then have the picnic later. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. This picnic is unsatisfactory. This sandwich is not cut in a straight line. This drink is too warm. This rug is crooked. Ratamat will straighten. Ah, catch them, B2. Catching, B1. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Time allotted for picnic complete. Ratamat will leave. What do we do now, B2? I think we'd better put these back on the blanket, B1. I hope Rat has taught his robot some good manners now. And to be friendlier. And a lot more fun. Ah! Greetings. These flowers are not planted properly. Ratamat will improve. We don't want you to improve them, Ratamat. We like them as they are. No time to talk. Must work faster. Flowers are now planted properly. Mud alert! Mud alert! Oh, not again! Psst! Teddies! Bananas! Why are you hiding? Ratamat! Why are you hiding? Ratamat! Door locked. Ratamat did not lock door. <laughs> it was me who locked it. I've got my shop back, Ratamat. Sorry, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Greetings. Why are you in Ratamat's shop? Well, oh, cheese and whiskers. Oh! Oh! Rat! Over here! 
Better Matters taken over my shop. I can't believe it. He's going to take over the whole village soon. We have to send him back where he came from. We have to catch him first. And how do we do that? With bait. Banana bait. Huh? I think that's enough mud, B2. Right, B1. Come and join me. Hey, Rabbitman, come and see this. There's a big mess outside your shop. Mud alert, mud alert. Rabbitman must wash. Here he comes. And here we go. Get ready. Now. We got him. Ready, Rat. Hey, Ratterman, over here. Yes, it's me, and I've got very dirty feet. Dirt, must clean, must clean. Success! We've got you now. <laughs> oh, I'm such a clever, clever rat. Auntie, that's not fair. Oh, oh, cheese and whiskers. Bananas. What's plan C? Whatever you can think of! And quickly! <laughs> Mud alert! Mud alert! Ratamat must wash! <laughs> Has it stopped, B2? I think it has, B1. Ratamat is going back where he came from. But, Rat, that means you'll have to do the work now. I know. It makes me tired just thinking about it. So what will you do? I'll do what I always do, of course. Nothing. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs>